YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to export in After Effects so that you don't have the playback issues. The error that it gives you, this video is not supported on this device, is because you're exporting it wrong. Originally, QuickTime was connected with Apple, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Adobe softwares, where that allowed them to export in MOV format and then be played back on Apple devices that no longer exist. You either need to use VLC Media Player or you need to export it properly. So I'm gonna show you guys how to export it properly. But you gotta do me a favor. This video helps you out and saves you time. Hit that subscribe button for me. It's the only way that I know making videos like this help people and it's what you guys want to see. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. So when you're exporting in Adobe After Effects, you can export two ways. You can do add to render queens, which is what most people do, or you can do Adobe Media Encoder. So we're going to choose Adobe Media Encoder. It's going to take a second to open up. When it opens right here, you're going to have options. And this is one of the most important parts right here is these two boxes right here. So first, we're going to always want to be H264. It's like their codex. I have no idea what that really actually means. And then over here is your presets. This is the type of format that you want to export it in. Most importantly, YouTube always compresses footage. So if you upload in 2K footage or you upload in 4K footage, it's going to compress it down to the size that's most relevant to that file originally uploaded. If I upload a 6K file, it's going to compress it down to 4K. If I upload a 1K file, it's going to compress it down to 720. If I upload a 2K file, it's going to compress it to 2K. If I upload a 3K file, it's going to compress it down to 2K. That being said, these are your options. Over here in this drop down list, you can choose from any one of these options. You can use YouTube 1080, uh, YouTube 4K, YouTube 480, YouTube 480p, SD wide, and then YouTube 720. Any one of these options with the format H.264, when you export it, it'll actually be usable and you can use it right in Premiere Pro. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this logo. I just finished exporting this one. And then after that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Wait, why'd I do that? Yeah, let's play this first. And I was able to use that right in Premiere. I have the file right over here. So if I open it and you can play it in the GoPro player, I can right click on it again and I can open it with QuickTime. One, two, three, get it. And I can play it in QuickTime Player. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. I hate using that VLC Media Player, but I made another video on that. So if you like exporting it th strictly through Adobe After Effects and uh, Render Queens, is that right? Ren Render Queens? Yeah, Render Queens it is. So if you guys like doing it that way, you can use the VLC Media Player. Link for that video will be above and below. See you guys in the next one.